Uh, Ellie, uh, I don't know, you know, he had a good night. Um, did, well, you, did you not see the play? I, I, I seen the steal. Is that what we're going to talk about? Okay. I mean, I thought this would be right well, at the top of your topics. Well, you're, yeah, I'm trying to be nice. Every time I, every time I start screaming and yelling about things, first of all, the, the final score ended up 13 to four. Okay. So am I going to try to go over the top on a kid that, 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 is probably the only bright spot truly this season outside of Hunter Green offensively. He's the only guy that I could be like, wow, this guy's overachieved. <clears throat> this is more about David Bell than anything. I don't know if you want to get into this tonight or not, but I mean, this is on David Bell. I I, I don't I don't give a damn. You get, Ellie Ellie is one hundred percent athletically gifted enough to where you don't want to put you do not want to put a harness on him. I get that. Completely understand that. And you don't really want him to overthink the game of baseball. You don't want to try to handcuff him in any way. I understand that. But I also still think like there has to be a, hey, a red light situation that Cowgill or House relays and signals onto the base pass. It just says, hey, like now's not the time. Even though we can probably steal the bag, let's not risk it because we 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 need more to happen than just you taking this bag. I think it's more of a coaching issue than Ellie. So that's my thought on it. I don't know what your thought is. I, I think the way you said it is probably the best thing because I don't think you want – I'm not sure you really want to be sitting down with Ellie and running through every possible scenario of this is good, this is bad. I mean, eventually he'll learn that kind of stuff, but I, the overthinking sure. piece, I think you need, they need to sit down with Ellie and be like, look, there's going to be like three times over right. the next month that we're going to give you a red light and we're going to take the thinking part out because we don't want you to overthink the game and that they should have put a clear sign signal, whatever, for a red light in that, that spot for sure. The I, I saw a lot of people saying that was just a selfish stolen base because he's trying to fluff up his numbers. I, I think that's... I, yeah. I, cer I, certainly get, I, I, I certainly get all of that. I don't know. I mean, we don't know Ellie's intentions. What I will say is... If you're a teammate of Ellie, that's the concern is them watching that. And they're going to certainly feel whether it was him trying to pad numbers or not. It certainly looks and feels like he is. So that's kind of where it becomes, I think, a as big of a problem as actually making the out is just, you know, this guy has, he can do whatever he wants and, um, you know, that kind of stuff. So, yeah, I mean, I, I, I think that I think the best solution is just Ellie, we're going to have three times a month. We give you a hard red light. That's it. Run crazy the rest of the time. Don't overthink the game. Because there has to be a balance of, of that. I agree. I, I just think it's a coaching thing. And I think Ellie, uh, to be clear, I think Ellie was hyped up to have a very high baseball IQ when he was coming up here. And I don't mean this derogatory towards Ellie. I don't know if it's as much that he has a high baseball IQ. I don't think that he does have a high baseball IQ. I think that he just has an unbelievable pool of athletic talent that he gets away with or he's successful so many times that it looks like he has a high IQ. And I do think there are times where he has has made a high IQ plays. I'm not acting like he's a dumb player or something. I just think that there are times where he he's he's done things that make little to no logical sense at the time. Even the stolen base that the 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 night where, you know, the Reds are down by two and he he steals second base. And, you know, people in the... Uh, that was the night, obviously, on the contact play with Blake Dunn. But it's like people in the comments on X and everyone's like, well, you, you can't put a harness... You can't stop Ellie from running. He stole second base. That got the... That got the... uh What were people saying? They said that got the dugout, dugout motivated. I'm like... The momentum. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, we had momentum because of that stolen base. It's like, I, I guys... We can't have it both ways. Like the same people, the same people are probably now are killing Ellie for 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 what he did tonight. So I don't know. I just there needs to be a red light. It's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. And I'm not going to sit here and make this out to be more than it needs to be. Again, I know the Reds, as pointed out in the chat, they were down by six. I think when he got thrown out, they're still down by six. Like I, I it's a terrible play. I get it's a terrible play. But I don't think it's as egregious, as ridiculous as this sounds, as the stolen base that he had the night they were down by two 
and Blake Dunn ended up getting thrown out on the contact play. Like, I don't think it was... Because at that point, you're one swing away from tying the game. This wasn't the case. I do agree with you, though. And I, I'm not trying to say, because we don't know for sure, I think Ellie is 100% chasing a number. And that that there's pros and cons with that. And the cons, turns out tonight, kind of can be a con. But you know what the pro is, Nick? And I thought about this a little bit. At least he's playing hard, you know? At least, like, he's not taking a night off, right? And I, there's some semblance of justification in that, but there just needs to be somebody that says, hey, Ellie, we're not, we're not stealing here. Yeah, you know? I mean, you'd think that helps his... Even if there maybe there's a perception of, of trying to pad numbers, the overall just his motor... It motivates his teammates to play hard too. Like you don't want to be the only guy that's you know not playing like Ellie, you know. Um, but yeah, like I, I I agree. Like the situation in the ninth was worse because like you are every run. But having said that, you were facing Kyle Hendricks. They they show the numbers on the broadcast tonight. Second time through the order, he's a totally different yeah. pitcher. Like, there was still a chance. It was slim, but there was still a chance that you could get back in that game. And the Reds did. I mean, the next inning put up three runs. Um, who knows how it would have played out. The Reds still have a very small chance of winning the game. But it wasn't your every day down 6 nothing, in my opinion. It was a little more um, of an actual, you know, you had a, you had an actual chance in the game versus – being down six nothing and the opposing starter is uh you know a fringe all star or something like that. I think we've laid out every scenario possible with this situation, and I and I, and, and, and listen, I think everything that we just said is actually has some semblance of truth behind it. I think the teammate thing that you mentioned is actually a pretty good thought because the last thing you want is is Ellie feeling like he's selfish and he's trying to do things for his personal gain. But the only thing that I would say back to some of those teammates is like, well, I got news for you. If we had nine of those guys out there that were selfish, we'd probably be pretty damn good. So it's that's kind of, I'm not trying to be too too ruthless, but I'd rather have Ellie out there stealing at idiotic times than, you know, perhaps have, I don't know, outfielders that are hitting a buck 90. It's true. So I don't know. It's I would like Ellie to be smart enough to know that he shouldn't be stealing in certain situations, but he's done nothing but prove to me that he doesn't know. And guess what? At times in life when you're a parent, and I guess what I'm trying to emulate now is as a coach, if you realize that your kids aren't wise enough to know something that you know, then you either teach them so they do it on their own, or you just straight up tell them that you don't do this. And I would like our management and coaches to to do that that's all 